And we also have a Mandana White who has done some job. He's a tough guy. <laughs> so Dana started UFC and uh, came to me. Do you mind if I use your — nobody wanted to give him a rinse because they said it's a rough sport, a little rough. And uh, I helped him out a little bit, and I went, and I said, this is the roughest sport I've ever seen. But I began to like it, and he loved it. And nobody's done a better job in — Sports and, and you know he's a very uh, motivational kind of a guy. What he does, he gets these fighters and they they really go at it. And it's become one of the most successful sports enterprises anywhere at any time. It's doing so well. I'd like to ask Danny just to say a couple of words because people love to hear from him. Danny, please. Nobody deserves this more than him, and nobody deserves this more than his family does. This is what happens when the machine comes after you. What you've seen over the last several years, this is what it looks like. Couldn't stop him. He keeps going forward. He doesn't quit. He's the most resilient, hardworking man I've ever met in my life. His family are incredible people. This is karma, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves this. They deserve it as a family. I, I want to thank some people real quick. I want to thank the Nelt boys, Aiden Ross, um, uh, uh, Theo Vaughn, Bustle with the boys, and last but not least, the mighty and powerful Joe Rogan. And thank you, America. Thank you. Have a good night. That is a piece of work.